If there's an oil crisis while oil companies are making record profits, there's a healthcare crisis while healthcare companies are making record profits, and there's a financial crisis while finance companies are making record profits. Maybe the companies are the crisis. There's a lot going around about inflation and gas prices and the price of essential commodities like food, but very little, especially in the media and in the power centers in this country, very little is being said about corporate greed. Sure, you have a few outlier members of Congress here and there, and every once in a while you'll get a good soundbite from cable news where someone explicitly mentions what's fueling all of these crises. It's corporate greed. It's a privatized structure, it's capitalism. But those are few and far between. And right now people are really struggling. According to a new study, 90% of families are struggling to make ends meet. And that's because the price of things like gas and groceries have gone up so drastically since this time last year. The Shell Oil Corporation put out its first quarter profits yesterday. And to the shock of no one, they're making record profits. Their profits have nearly tripled actually from $3.2 billion in profit in the first quarter of last year to 9.13 in the first quarter of this year. Of course, they lamented the $3.9 billion they've lost to the Ukraine conflict, but still found way to make more money than they ever had. We're at record high levels for gas. It's exceeded $5 a gallon nationally, and in some places you're seeing prices as high as $6 or $7 a gallon. I mean, this is completely unsustainable. And at the same time, oil and gas companies are posting record profits. Chevron, Exxon, Shell, BP, and ConocoPhillips collectively brought in $35 billion in profits in quarter one this year. To put that in perspective, that is a 300% increase from quarter one of last year. If there really is a supply shortage, which there isn't, but if that's ultimately what they want you to believe, that that's what's causing these prices, that it's the war in Ukraine, how does that justify a 300% increase in profit from quarter one last year? The reason is it doesn't. You can't. Any reasonable person, when you look at the data, can see that's not what's fueling it. It's corporate greed. And in healthcare, insurance companies are posting record profits there as well. But the cost of healthcare has only gone up. I've talked about it a lot in these videos. We need a universal healthcare system. The existence of a profit motive in something essential like healthcare only creates this scenario where costs keep going up, corporate executives and shareholders keep getting rich, and you keep struggling. This is especially bad for people 50 and older who have more complex medical needs than younger Americans. Because healthcare is getting more and more expensive in this country, one in three Americans aged 50 or older are skipping things like food or utilities or clothes or other essentials to pay for healthcare costs. This has resulted in some of them skipping prescribed medicines, skipping meals, cutting back on spending, and neglecting other areas of their life and things that are essential just to pay for their medical bills. And this really hits people aged 50 to 64 hardest because they're not eligible for Medicare yet. And even if they are on Medicare, if they have a Medicare Advantage plan, there have been tens of thousands of people who have had their claims denied, despite a review finding that they all had legitimate, substantial, and necessary medical claims. Because Medicare Advantage is a private insurance plan that is supplemental to your standard Medicare, they had a financial incentive to deny those claims because that just means more profit for them. So all of these people were getting denied claims for things that they needed. Their doctors said they needed them. And they were getting it denied so these companies could make more money. And that is the essence of corporate greed that's fueling all of these crises. When we keep allowing private interests in our capitalist structure to dictate the terms of our lives, this is the result. We've seen it before. They don't care. They're always going to put profit over people. But somehow we keep expecting different results. But things like nationalizing the oil and gas industry, implementing a Medicare for all system, and simply just getting money out of politics, but ultimately ending capitalism and implementing a new system where people are put first, that's going to create a more robust, welcoming, and healthy society. We shouldn't have a scenario where corporate interests continue to put people in danger or diminish their quality of life so a handful of people at the top can keep getting richer. It's totally unsustainable.